Hey guys, it's Wednesday. It's 1.10 p.m. <laughs> I slept until 10.30 because I was up until 5.30 in the morning editing and whatnot. Well, I went, I crawled into bed around 4.30 and then I was just up past 5.30 because I just wasn't tired, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I woke up at 10.30, didn't get out of bed till 11.30, finally edited the vlog and whatnot. It's just uploading now. I kind of forgot about the vlog. I went to go shower. I was gonna quickly shower, come back down and get it uploading and I kind of forgot about it till now. Anyway, uh, soon I have a call with YouTube where they're going to go over my channel, kind of look at it, see what I can do better, that sort of thing. Just pretty much one-on-one -on -one consultation. Give me tips for my channel. I think that'll be really nice. And then I also will get a point of contact at YouTube that I can contact whenever I have issues. I don't know if it's the person I have the call with or if it's gonna be someone else, but that'll be really nice instead of contacting their generic partner help email. So yeah, especially since if something goes wrong with your channel, like let's say you lose partnership because of some copyright issue, you can no longer contact the YouTube partner email because you're no longer a partner. Like it knows when you email it, if you're emailing from your partner email or not. And I've seen that happen to other YouTubers and so this will be nice to just have someone to have direct contact to, I think. Plus they'll know my channel. You know, dealing with the same person every time is definitely helpful. And it's more personal than getting the random person on the other end who doesn't know who you are. So I think this will be really good. And I'm finally doing it because it's been recommended to me for months and months and months. Like a little blue banner at the top of all my YouTube pages being like, sign up for a thing. And I'm just like, I'm too shy. But no, I'm finally doing it. Also, I already heard back about the sponsored video I was working on yesterday. There's just one minor change I need to make. I basically just need to throw in some B-roll footage at the beginning and like, boom, done, and re-upload it. And so I'll do that after the call because, I mean, I guess I could do it now. I just, my computer is sometimes a bit sluggish when I'm exporting videos, so I think I'm just gonna hold off till after the call. Okay, when I was cleaning in here the other day, there was this little legal pad. Did I move it? Maybe I did. Kind of forgot I had it, and it's much nicer to write on than notebooks because there's no coil. <laughs> Found it. Yeah. See, baby, it's bound at the top. It's very nice for writing in, especially for lefties. Okay, so it's just about two o'clock. The call's over. It was just under half an hour. Um, we're actually going to talk again next week just because there's only so much we can cover in half an hour. Um, they pretty much got to know more about like why I started my channel, where I want to go with it, and then I got some tips on things I could do to help improve traffic to my channel and that sort of thing. So I have a list of like three things that I want to implement, and so we're going to talk again next week. So I want to have this stuff in place by the next time we talk. And yeah, it's kind of like an ongoing thing. It's not like a one-time call. Um, just keep in touch with them and they also have these online workshops I guess that you only have access to if you're doing this consultation program which is pretty neat so yay for YouTube things <laughs> anyway it's now 2 40 and I haven't eaten yet so I'm gonna get some food <laughs> had a banana and now I'm going to have this Work with your own YouTube Partner Manager. Talk over how to take your channel to the next level. Huh. That's what I've been doing. That's what I was doing today. Made my little change to my video. It's just exporting right now. And once that's done, I'm going to edit and upload another toy video because I realize it's been a week since I last posted one. I posted one last Wednesday, so oops. So I'm going to devote most of the rest of the day to cleaning up the house I think but I also want to run some errands just to go on a little amiibo hunt I don't really think I'm gonna find what I'm looking for I want the Zelda amiibo from Breath of the Wild and I want Archer Link Archer Link's available on the Walmart website and on the Best Buy website but according to the Best Buy website it's not available at the Best Buy location that's nearest to me but a different one in Vancouver has it but I'm like oh I don't really want to go all the way there I'll just like order it online maybe but then I want Zelda and ugh, like I should have ordered these ages ago they came out March 3rd I should have known they were gonna be popular and sell out and I kind of want to just go hunting for her just I guess to 
walk around I don't know like I'm not expecting to find it but I just want to walk around and see what the stores around here have and see if they have the Zelda amiibo I do like the Archer Link one a bit more than her so that's good that that one's available because that's my favorite but I, I do really want Zelda too there are a bunch on eBay that'll run me about $45, including shipping, so there's always that as an option. But they're regular about $22, so it's like paying double, pretty much. I would prefer to not do that, so I'm gonna see if I can find it. I hate when shirts do this. This shirt shrunk, but only upwards. It didn't lose any width. It just got super short. When I bought it, it would cover my butt. And this is how it hangs without the sweater on, too. I wasn't wearing the sweater earlier. Like. It covered my butt when I bought it, and now it's way up here. The sides almost show my skin. Like, ugh, I've had other shirts do that to me too. And it's always the kind that has the little upwards cut in the, on the side, the like scoop at the bottom of the shirt. It's always those ones. I need to stop buying shirts like that apparently. I don't know how much you guys notice it, but I feel like my face is a lot less puffy this last while, like the last few days at least. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm just less bloated in general. I feel like I notice it in my cheeks, but I don't know if it's my imagination. And with you guys, the camera angles can be pretty forgiving, especially like the higher I hold it, the skinnier my face looks like. That could totally affect it, but I feel like my face is skinnier. Going on amiibo, honey. Going on amiibo, honey. Going on. We're so low on regular glasses, it's not even funny. I feel like that's a perfect excuse to buy these. But what about this one? Mm. Mm. Keep my stream drink a little bit warm because it has a lid. I have not been keeping up with all the new card releases, but yes, yes, I am getting this. Got Archer Link. They don't have Zelda, but I didn't think so. And I put back those glasses, but I am getting the tumbler, this one. Because I feel like I'll get more use out of it. This Nintendo booth doesn't sell amiibos, but let's just see some of the cute stuff they have. <gasps> Enhance these. I actually have this. Oh, it's a lamp! Oh, that's kind of cool. Battery or USB powered. Christian could have this sitting next to his TV or something. His TV, really it's both of ours, but I just call it his. Now I'm at Toys R Us. This is interesting, because there were 17 inch limited edition dolls, uh, limited to 500 worldwide. But I was like, heck no, I already bought one of those limited 500 worldwide dolls with the animated versions of them. So I was like, I'm not paying this again. These are kind of cute though. I just like her dress so much. I want it. Jesus, they have a lot of these here. <laughs> the website said they were sold out of Zelda online and in stores, but I just wanted to creep anyway. Won't pass up an excuse to come to Toys R Us. Animal Crossing ones are half price. Oh, I already have a lot of them. Well, I have this set. And I have blathers. Did he come in a set? He does not. So yeah, I have these three and him. Give me Blue Bear. She's not one of the main villagers, though, so she doesn't get on the amiibo. It's all the earbuds. Hmm. I'm in Hot Topic now. The top of this dress is nicer than the top of the one in the movie. It has a nicer bodice. I like the clearness to this. <gasps> Beauty and the Beast undies. This is too big, but it's very cute. Uh, that shawl thingy. So I did get the Moana shawl. It was regular 50 bucks, because the sign said it's 20, and I looked at the tag. Regular price 50. Like, Jesus, how could I not pass up this for 20 bucks? It's so cute. Not with these pants, obviously. But look at it. So cute. I don't think I'm gonna have much time to do cleaning like I originally was planning. Well, that wasn't even the original plan for today. That was just what I decided I was gonna do. And then I've... I'm probably not gonna have time. It's 6.20 already. I need to finish editing this, which is gonna take a while. And I need to cook supper and... Yeah, I don't know. 
but we'll see. I kind of just want to play some Zelda tonight because I haven't played since Friday. So, I don't know. Okay, editing is done. And I'm gonna go upstairs and make myself some corn on the cob and potatoes. Speaking of potatoes, look at these little lumps. Look at these little lumps. Pet the bum, pet the bum. Taters and corn. Change my sweater again because I just grabbed the closest one. This one's so disgusting though, like it needs a lint roller. There's just hair all over it. Bubble hair, look at that. Perfect for wearing while I'm cooking food. Oh, you know what? I have lint rollers in several rooms of the house now since I bought that five pack at Costco. Got one right here. Time for a feast. I'm watching two live streams like and playing Zelda. Arms all out. Arms all in. I played Zelda for a little bit and now I'm going to clean a bit more in this room. I've just been slowly chipping away at it. Okay, I'm done for the night. This might not look like much progress to you, but I've done a lot of organizing on the shelves. Before I just had one of these things assembled, I've assembled three more and put stuff on it and arrange stuff around it. This one's kind of just <laughs> in limbo for now. I just have, the side stuff is not necessarily gonna stay there. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that was there. Oh, that looked really funny to the way it was sitting. There you go. But yeah, I got the Pikachus put up there. I have stuff up here. I moved these guys from the middle shelf to up there. I put stands on a lot of dolls. I put together the stands themselves and then put the dolls on them. So they have stands and you have stands. These all have stands. She comes with a stand. <laughs> and I put stands on these ones. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put those. They're probably eventually gonna go along here, although I feel like it's dangerous to have anything on a stand where the cats could jump up, but I mean, technically they can jump up any of this, but they just don't. Um, but yeah, they're just gonna sit there for now. Cause event I would like to have this to be all Calico Critter stuff. And I have a little boutique that I'm probably gonna put next to that. So yeah, plus I really want like the bigger house because I have all this furniture and it's too much to fit in this little house. So I'm like, oh, I need the big house. So <laughs> no, I might be getting that eventually, someday down the road. These I want on this shelf, but they're not unboxed yet, so I just have the boxes sitting there. And yeah, that's how it's looking, pretty much just moving stuff around. And have these guys there, this here, and that's pretty much it. I'm also considering putting shelves on the wall, because I mean, we've drilled enough holes in the walls in other rooms, so why not put some shelves up in this room and then I could have stuff up there and fill all that space and that would be kind of nice. Plus, all these cubes are available for displaying stuff. It's really messy right now and is more so for storage, but it's meant to display stuff. Like this one is better. I have some stuffed animals that are all kind of knocked over. But it's supposed to be a display for them and then these drawers are mostly empty. Uh, this one has some stuff in it, and this one has a few things at the bottom. I need to display these guys. And then this one's empty, and this just has a few things related to filming, like if you need a lint roller or a Ziploc bags for toys in, I have a marker to mark stuff. That's really it. So there's tons of unused space in here, so that's good. For a lot of the smaller stuff, it's just about finding a way to display it. These little shelves work great for certain things, but then for larger things that doesn't really work, I'm gonna have to get longer, like maybe even just build some longer shelves within these shelves so I can display more. And then for the mini animator dolls, I was thinking of just having them in front of bigger dolls. So yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, the possibilities are endless. But I'm going to wash up for bed. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Look at all these toys. I can't wait to play with all these toys. Where is the little boy bunny who is supposed to be beside this rattle? <sighs> Mr. Bear here already has a dent in his face, and we don't want more of that. Why can I never have nice hands? I always have to have artist hands, where they're all dingy. I just wanted nice fingers for my video. I'm done editing. This is my thumbnail. I don't know if I said the title of the video on the vlogs, but it's eight tips for choosing colors. And so, yeah, this is a very clickbaity thumbnail. 